asked her about that and she's like, yeah, but it has to explain all of the reasons, right? It can't just, yeah. so you, you brought up a good point. It, it reflects the sunlight. If it's just a, a radioactive fallout, it should also be there on the nighttime plates. Mm. But that was the biggest thing. And what they're finding is actually it wasn't on the nighttime plates. So it was, it was mainly, you know, statistically, I think it was 67 or 68% was during the day. So that mm. means that it's highly likely that these are reflective objects. But yeah. You don't hear that uh, in the mainstream, right? But it, Sabine Hassenfelder did make a video saying, hey, this is the best evidence she's seen of UAPs. So I think, like you said, it's really, uh, I guess, simple science, but looking into the details, it, it is very complicated and there's no good explanation for what these transients are. No, and, and for me, that's the good way to get more folks involved. And in the same sense with the Jacques Vallée yeah. case, we, we are both saying excruciating detail, yeah. but there will be... I don't know what the jobs would be exactly. I'm going to say scientists and sound really stupid, but you know, molecular bioengineers and people like that. And I'm making up a job there probably, but who would find that really interesting that, wow. So these, these bark samples have incredible amounts of energy. What could have caused that? And that would ignite their interest. 